All right. Hello, everybody. Um, so welcome to the meme stream. Uh, Microsoft Flight decided to break everything today, so we're going to try and make the best of it. Yes. Uh, we're in the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. I have not flown a Boeing in like nine months. I have never flown the 787. I have no idea what we're doing. And that's why we've started with the engine already running. So we're about ready to take off. And we are leaving from Moron and going to Genghis Khan because uh, I was going to do Moron to Batman. Then I realized Batman was the other flight that I've got scheduled um, for, for when I'm ready for the memes. Uh, not the one I have for today. So uh, we're going we're gonna to get this thing started and we're going to hope we have a fun time. <laughs> um... This is certainly different. I, I don't know exactly what's going on here. Uh, cruise altitude is 410. I thought it was 3700. Okay, we'll, we'll go 410. No problem, no problem. Okay, sure, 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 sure. You know what? Let's just, let's just get going. All right, let's... Um, Throttle up to 50%. Whatever that is. Let it stabilize. Then we'll release and full power. We'll just toga today. Now, I do like this heads up display. That's very, very nice. I have no idea what our rotation speed is. I have no idea if we have enough runway. I don't think we have enough runway. Wait, wait, maybe we do. Oh, we're up. Okay, putting the gear up. I'm gonna try and pitch back a little more. Pull out a notch of flaps. Let's see, can I LNAV now? What about flight level change? I think, I think we're okay. Where's, where's our flaps? Are our flaps for 5%? One, one degree. Okay, the LNAV and VNAV is not working. Auto, autopilot. And now it wants to nosedive. Why are you nosediving? Plane, plane, plane. Please. Oh, it's gaining speed. We have the auto throttle on. Auto throttle. Elnav. Flight level change. I'm not sure what to do with my throttles. Okay, it's it's already managing the throttle, so I don't need to worry about my throttle. <laughs> I just need to sit here and enjoy the memes, I guess. Um, I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. Light level change is... Is it doing anything? Am I pitching up? Yeah, okay, I'm pitching up. I am so lost. Boeings are so weird to me. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Okay, so it, it's flight level change is controlled by speed. Speed's currently set to 249. I'll bump that up to about 300 here in a minute, and we cross 10,000. Okay, no, don't dive, don't dive, don't dive. 
Please don't dive. <laughs> See, this is the problem, right? Is that currently in Microsoft Flight, the AI has no idea how to maintain energy, right? It, it doesn't know how to manage energy. All it knows how to do is to change forms of energy. So if, and it has a priority system, right? So the speed is first, then the altitude, from what I can tell anyway. It's speed first, then altitude, then fuel is a distant last choice. Um, maybe power's in there somewhere. Um, so if the speed gets, if the speed is too low, like if I'm bumping up my speed from 250 to 300, like I just did, it's going to trade altitude for speed. It's going to die. And like right now, it's porpoising really bad because it pitches down to gain speed up to 300, but then that coasts up over 300. And then when it realizes it's over 300, it pitches up and trades that speed for altitude. And then that continues past... Uh, it continues down below 300, then it pitches back down to get more speed. Like, it's just porpoising to maintain speed when it can just change the, the throttle and let it glide down slowly. It's like it needs to immediately get it exactly to the target. Okay, this is not going to work. <laughs> not while we're flying into the sun. So this is a, I, I know what some of this stuff does. Um, I have no idea what the evac command is gonna do. I mean, luckily most of this stuff is inoperative anyway. Why am I getting lightning? I'm above the bloody clouds. What are you doing? Asobo, what is wrong with you? <laughs> So Sobo has managed to bork just about everything. Also, why are we flying all the way over here? Look at this! Look at this line! That's where we're supposed to be! <gasps> what is going on? Oh, I love these. I love the memes. Oh, it's beautiful. Guys. Guys, can we, can we have a moment of silence? Can we have a moment of silence for this poor thing? Oh, what is this? Hello. Oh, it's an operative. They put this nice little EMV on here, and it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, the memes. The memes. You know what does work? Cup holder. <laughs> guys, guys, I know what some of this stuff is. There's a lot of this, though. I have no clue. Okay, it's on standby. Oh, recording off to the ARA. That's what we want. Of course, our fire protection system is inoperative. Uh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun, guys, because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just guessing at best. It flaps are at zero. The brake levers at zero. Kind of know what those things do. Okay, gears retracted, auto brake is off. Okay, what's the difference between off and disarm? Why is this so narrow? Do oh, I need all this? I don't like to trade these two. And then swap this to this side so that it's here and the, the first officer has a gimp display, but no. Eh, whatever. Okay. Um. Hey, this is actually kind of cool. Okay. Okay. This is pretty nifty. I do like this display. I don't know why it's got to take up so much of this display and, and it leaves nothing here. But, um... 
Yeah, the it doesn't seem to be able to hold a heading. Right? But you can see here, uh, range. Oh, it's only changing that one. Can I not change this one? Hmm. Oh, that looks pretty. Okay. That's my weather radar. Which apparently I have chosen an interesting day to fly. Oh, wow. We're already at 34,000 feet. Uh, where are my lights? Fanning lights, turn off. Um, home light off, fine. Master brightness, no down. Runway, turn offs are off. Taxi light, these are not labeled. <laughs> Why are these not labeled? Uh, okay. Beacon nav logo wing. Passenger sign seatbelts are armed. We're gonna go ahead and. I can't turn off the seatbelt sign. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, you got me. Apparently, this doesn't work on the uh, first officer's side. Can't deal with pressurization. Okay, there's the fuel pumps. Window heat is all on. Okay. Mary Flight Computer's electrical battery. Okay. External power. Aft external power. Generator control. Having fun finding... I, I don't know if I would call it fun, but I, I think the flight's definitely fun, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, we're going to Genghis Khan. <laughs> I don't know how to fly a Boeing. And I'm sure there will be people that, might, that may come in and will be here. Oh my god, he doesn't know how to fly. You're right, I don't know how to fly a Boeing. I, I, I promise I'm not terrible with the uh, Airbuses. There are those who would say that Airbuses are the easy ones. Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> what a real adventure. Resize my window and watch all the tooltips move? Oh god, no. I need the tooltips right now. Don't, don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Uh, nothing works. The, uh, Sobo has managed to break everything. Oh! Fun fact, just so y'all know, um, Twitch would not let me set up my stream because they really did not like the name Moron being in the, the description. And I can't help it, that's the name of a city. You aren't in full screen, the tooltips get, tool get misaligned. Oh, Asobo, what are you doing? I couldn't even figure out the GPS in a friggin' Cessna. Yeah. <laughs> Look. I don't have... So, I can I can figure out the Cessna's... Um, the, the G1000 by sight. Or, or are, are we talking about the G1000? Are we talking about one of the, the older... Like, steam gauge? <clears throat> oh, the clickable regions are off too? Oh no! This is why I don't fly smaller aircraft, right? Um, even if I did fly smaller aircraft, it sounds like that wouldn't even... Even if I didn't fly smaller aircraft, it sounds like that doesn't even help. What happens when you don't play full screen? Yeah, th that and it's... I'm, look, I'm gonna be honest. I know that there are people that have um, been involved in other streams that I've been involved in. And, um, they have, uh, shall we say, a very enthusiastic defense of Microsoft Flight and a very enthusiastic dislike 
of X-Play. <clears throat> trying to be gentle here. Um, but, here's the thing. Um, Microsoft Flight, <clears throat> and this is something I've always said, Microsoft Flight has a lot of potential. They have done a lot to improve the everything. And they have the framework in place. Hmm. Microsoft Flight Sim is a great sim. issue with Microsoft Flight Sim has nothing, has little to do, okay, it, I keep trying to give Microsoft as much as I can on this. It's very difficult because it's, it's not good. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do my best here. Okay. Microsoft Flight Sim is it has a few major bugs that once they fix, it will be a fantastic sim. The flight part, the aircraft part, is going to have to be done by other people because the Sobo is absolutely incapable of modeling a halfway decent aircraft. Now, I'm not counting that as a fault of Microsoft or a Sobo. This has traditionally not been the realm of first party developers. Now, I do think that Microsoft did a whole lot, a whole lot to push that they were not doing things traditionally. <clears throat> so I think it would have been reasonable to assume, for some people, to assume that Microsoft and Asobo might have been heading towards having actual decent, not study level, but decent aircraft to start with, especially since they went so far as to include three airliners, one of which you had to pay for the premium deluxe edition, 120 bucks for it. Um, I think, here, here's my take, right? I don't blame them for having lousy aircraft. I blame them for having lousy AI. Um, I blame them for basically not improving the... Um, that was supposed to be off. Uh, for not improving... What you call it? Um, <clears throat> I blame them for not improving the ATC at all. Um, I blame them the UX I, I agree with you but I can see how in some ways it's actually superior I don't like it I don't think it's superior not for me um, but for instance if you have a Microsoft control like if you have an Xbox controller you can plug into your computer to control drone mode it's a lot better like camera mode I do not like the camera modes my camera modes seem to be bugged um, like if I if I open up my camera modes here and I and and you can watch all these right <clears throat> I can switch to external and I can switch to showcase and now it's actually behaving fairly well. Maybe they fixed it. I don't know. Maybe they fixed it. Who can say? See, now here we get into the weirdness, right? This is switched back to external mode, even though the controls up here just gray themselves out and they're in showcase mode. And now I can't get external views to expand. See what I mean? It's buggy. And I can't get... Now showcase view is doing external view. Yeah, those are basically the same shot now. 
I still can't control these at all. And it's still got the, the controls all on the screen. Which showcase view is not supposed to have. And I can't reset the position either. Well, poor, poor design and bugs are the same thing, right? Glitches. Glitches are only because the machine screwed it up, right? But bugs, bugs just mean unintended function. Like, it, it's not good. Like, in this case, it's bad. It may be pants on head stupid, or it might be a glitch. Either way, it's a bug. At least that's how I look at it. Right? This is just... It's just terrible design. Um, I also... I don't... I don't hate the gliding, but I do hate the fact that even with... Even while I... It should only start gliding once I let go of the mouse button. Right? So here I'm just kind of click, drag, and let go. All is one quick, smooth motion. Right? But then here, I'm going to click and hold, and I'm going to snap my, my mouse around, right? And I'm just snapping. So I'm moving it a little bit and then stopping, but you see how it's gliding anyway. No, Microsoft. When I'm holding down my mouse button, I control my camera with absolute authority. Never, ever, ever take away control from the person doing the controlling. Why is it always tilted? You know, that's another thing that was... View rotation. View rotation. What do you mean, view rotation? I don't see it tilting. Like, I've, I've seen... Rotating around the exterior? I mean, in exterior views? I mean, it doesn't seem to be. I mean, the controls are pants on head stupid. And they feel very backward. So I, I find myself not controlling it correctly. Okay, uh, thank, thank you, Vibris. I appreciate that. Uh, I'll figure that out in a second. Um, it all feels weird to me. Left, right, up, down, all of it feels weird. But I don't see any... Right now, the plane's turning, so it's hard to tell, but... Yeah, I'm not seeing any 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 tilting. Yeah, there might be something going on with it on the ground. I don't know. Hold on one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out uh, the dinner. Is I actually thing yet today? Um, I'm gonna real quick switch over to chat so that I can see what's being said. I think that we're doing okay. What is, what is ATC telling us? Send and maintain 350. Okay, let's descend and maintain It's really not wanting to go down. Let's try a little speed break. Parking break. Their speed. Their speed.
We shouldn't have to do that in order to ascend. We really shouldn't. Everything is too floaty. And let's be clear, everything is very, very floaty. Um, that's why I say everything flies like it's GA. And that includes the camera. The camera is, is very, very floaty. Pull that speed break in. That's how they did it. They're always using the drone. <laughs> in not entirely. Oh. Okay, come on. can't do this to me. Now it's starting to spool the engine. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait, because it's... What? ATC, why are you so mad? 230. Doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> we may have to fix this here in a minute, folks. Well, after I figure out. Okay, what do you want? You want me down to 230. I'm trying to get down to 230. It's be there it goes. Okay, we're descending now. We're descending fast. Okay, I'm gonna pop this out so I can always monitor it. This is being dumb. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. Oh, we are gonna get creamed. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if I can land this at all. <laughs> switch back to IAS anymore? I don't think I can. I don't think they fixed that bug! Oh, God! We're all gonna die! <laughs> I have no idea how this is acceptable to them. Like, this is beyond just normal broken. Over. Yeah, 
guys. Got to remote. Now that I'm not using my other screen anymore. Oh, we're heading for some red. Oh, buddy. I think... I think we may need to turn on some anti-ice. Where is my ice protection? There it is. Uh... Oh, it's on auto. Okay, auto's cool. Don't have to worry about auto. That's cool. All right. We're at 230. Let's go ahead and take down our speed brakes. We're still on LNAV. VNAV. Oh, wait. VNAV. Oh, VNAV is working. Is VNAV working? Does anybody know? Did they fix VNAV? Is what I, from what I heard yesterday, uh, VNAV was not working. Uh, today, it's just a little wonky. So I don't, uh, turning it on is a little wonky. Let me be clear. Okay, I do not know how to activate approach mode. There's approach, okay. Oh dear, what is that? We're doing a visual. <laughs> we're, we're doing visual on runway three two. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful, guys. Guys, get your clip buttons ready. We are gonna wreck this bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for landing. It's a composite plane. That makes it bounce. I don't know, but it better. If it don't bounce, we're all dead. <laughs> oh, folks. This is gonna go bad. Oh, look at this! Look at how bad this is about to be! Why do you want me at, at 23,000 feet? Ladies and gentlemen, we are way too high! Oh, I don't feel comfortable with this approach at all. Let's see, can I zoom this out any? Well, there's the decel. Okay, okay, now I can see it. Okay, okay. We. Oh, well, there's there's pink out there, and Mongolia is having some storms. I wish we were having these storms instead of just, you know, residual smoke. Although, I'm not even getting that. We're supposed to be? Like, I've, I've seen maps where it says we're supposed to be getting that, that uh, firestorm dust. But, nah, I, I don't. I don't see nothing. So we're going to try and land this. And this is totally memes, guys. I I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never flown this plane in my entire life. Um, I flew the 747 in a landing approach, in one of the landing challenges, and I have flown a 737 about nine months ago in X-Plane. That's it. That's my experience with Airbus, or with uh, Boeing. I don't have a lot of it. Oh, hey, there. I can do that. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, that's beautiful. That's perfect. Okay. Okay, so I need data. 
That tells me absolutely nothing. Send and maintain 9,000 feet. You got it, sister. 9,000. What do I do now? Me nav gonna take take control and 6,500. You got it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna change. Oh, this still don't wanna work. We're gonna try and get down under this real real fast. Um this still doesn't wanna switch back to mock. Or to, to knots. It's clearly not switching back and forth, but I need it to really badly. It doesn't want to. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. This actually kind of reminds me of last night. So last night, I was, I was actually... Role playing on one screen while I had my PFD and ND popped out onto another screen. But see, I wouldn't be comfortable doing that in this simulator because it wants to kill me. This simulator legitimately wants to kill me. Oh god, I can still see absolutely nothing. Well, this is terrible. Sobo. Did I make you mad? Because I don't like made so far um hey okay. rain maybe okay, no it doesn't look like we have anything coming up on terrain do my best to land this, I have no idea if it's actually going to go well at all. It's okay, so once flight level change changes over. Yeah, I'm going to set auto brakes max. Because I don't know that this runway is long enough for us to stop. Especially not if we're Drastically overspeeding. Why are you going full forward? You're still 500 feet away. That's disarmed. <clears throat> We're overspeeding. We're overspeeding. We're overspeeding. We're overspeeding. Hello? Plane? 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 Oh, dear God! Um. Okay. Uh, plane? Plane? Plane, can we slow down, please? I would love to slow down, plane. Oh dear god, this plane wants to kill itself! Um... Those are mountains. 
Why, why is the terrain not warning me? Oh, there we go, okay. We're going way too fast. Went too fast, we're going to crash. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, oh I do not feel safe. Why are you telling me to fly at this altitude? There are mountains! Oh my lord! Oh, we gonna die! <laughs> I need to slow down a lot. God. Over 900 feet? Down to 250 or below. Approach as planned. Appro approach? Oh god. We're on visual to, uh... Visual to runway 3-2. Okay. So we need to come around to the southeast. Oh, where the mountains go? Oh, the weather is so bad! Oh, I can't see shit! I don't know where this airport is! <laughs> okay! We're gonna, we're gonna do our best, folks! Um... Huh! Hey! Okay. It's probably in California. Well, apparently, y'all got something... in common with, uh... Y'all got something in common with, with, um... Mongolia, because they're, they're kind of having the same issues. At least from what it looks like. <laughs> God, what is the range here? Okay, so I need to be at 3202 it. Dear God, I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm doing. I can look at my live map in Stembury. <laughs> oh dear god. Hey, I need to... No, I'm gonna I'm gonna land runway 14. I don't care what it says. We're landing 14, guys. Okay, so we need to direct you to um we direct the fuck is direct how do we go direct um eggs oh eggs Six, maybe? Out? Oh. Oh. Nope. Nope. Um... Oh boy! Okay, we're gonna do this very strangely. Well, I'm not going too fast now. Um, however, what I do need to do... Disengage the autopilot and I need to come left.
Okay. I see nothing. Oh god, that's the runway? Oh no! Okay, maybe we are going for 3 2. Oh dear. Okay. It'd be nice if I could see things. Slow us down a bit. Bring in some flap. Oh dear, okay. Oh, I forgot I have those on. It's been so long since I've flown in Microsoft Flight. Come back around and we're gonna try to line up. I'm right. So we're gonna turn back around. power and the nose. I'm actually idle power right now. <laughs> oh dear god, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, that's ground. Here. Gotta turn a little bit harder. Might see me sitting there, keep panically mashing the uh, the autopilot disconnect. I keep. Feeling kind of like it's trying to fight me. What do you got? I can't see my glide slope. Where's where's? Oh, that's ground. That is ground. That is ground. Oh no. Okay, that's the edge of my HUD. Uh. I thought that was a mountain. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. 
Then more flap. Here is down. Put in some speed brake. How? Why? Look at this! Look at this! It literally wants me to fly down into a mountain! It literally wants me to fly through a mountain. Oh dear God, no. Oh. How is this a thing? Down, down plane. Don't float down. Oh, God. Why? Why won't you slow down? What is going on? Plane, please. Please stop! Oh dear God! Please stop! Where are we going? Plane! Plane, how far are we gonna go? Why? Why are you doing this? Why? How many landings are we gonna get? Oh God, why? Why? Stop! Stop! Oh! Oh God, Plane! Why are you rolling? Why are you- Why are we flying? Why are we going 170? I... I was on the ground. I... Why was I accelerating on the ground with idle thrust? Oh dear god, why? Taking off was a hell of a feat because I managed to apply reverse thrust and went forward. Uh, so I, I don't imagine that's what happened. <laughs> oh, oh, a sobo never changed, never changed. Oh, look, I'm I'm gonna put it this way, okay. I have been playing Microsoft Flight for several weeks. Uh, since the day it released, I have been playing Microsoft Flight. And I gotta tell you, I have had a lot of fun with this game. I 
I have not had anything make me have so much fun flying GA in a very long time. I've never enjoyed GA. I love it in Microsoft Flight. But I will say this. Nothing, not a damn thing has ever helped me to sell as many copies of X-Plane as the airliners in Microsoft Flight. And the more Asobo keeps doing, trying to make it better, the more they fuck it up. It's, it just gets worse. Um, if anybody... So, unlike most people in uh, Flight Sim, I have the ability to do replays. So, if anybody has any idea what happened there like if you can go back through my vod and see what happened what did i do wrong like if it was me it could be me i'm not saying it has to be a sobo i'm not saying because like i said i have never flown a 787 i do not know anything about boeing i haven't flown a boeing at all in like nine months maybe i left the auto throttle on and shouldn't have i have no idea it's entirely possible that's exactly what happened is I left the auto throttle on because on the Airbus, if you fully re uh, retard the, the throttle and your tires hit the ground, it disengages the auto throttle. Right? So if it detects that you've landed, it disconnects the auto throttle and allows the, the pilot full control over the aircraft. If the Boeing doesn't do this, I need to know... <laughs> So, like, that's the only thing I can think of, right? Is if the auto throttle was trying to execute a go around. But, like, I, I was doing nothing for speed and I was still, like, able to roll the plane while on the ground. <laughs> uh, judging from my knowledge of the sim, I'm going to assume everything caused is caused by terribly mapped control functions. Uh, and you're just getting screwed by terrible UI. I mean, this wasn't the fault of UI. Uh, maybe key bindings, maybe there's something that I'm supposed to have mapped that I don't. I don't know. Um, also, that was not water. That was not water that I landed in. Um, I don't know why it thinks that was water. I, it took me until now to actually read this crash message. And it says I crashed in the water, and there was no water present. We were in the mountains. We were 5,000 feet above sea level. There was no water. I'm not sure what Asobo is thinking. Like, if you want to just have a generic you crashed message, then just have a generic you crash message. But don't tell me that I crashed into water at 5,000 feet MSL. I think the gear shocks in this sim are 50 feet tall and work like slinkies. Okay, here's the thing. That's not true. And I'll tell you why. The A320 is heighted about right. It, it does feel very low to the ground like an Airbus. Or, pardon me. Um, it feels... It feels about like it does... It's not very low to the ground. It feels about right from what I've flown in X-Plane. <clears throat> you don't mean the vis visible model. No, I'm talking about landing. Shocks are impacting and just springing you back in the air. Yeah, that, that, that absolutely. It <clears throat> so I think that maybe a Sobo shortcutted a few things, among which I believe the suspension in airliners was just copy pasted from GA. And in GA, they generally just use the flex, the, the flexion of the struts and soft tires to absorb the, the impact of landing. Okay. Um, and they have some, some very stiff, um, very springy springs where in Airliners, they use pneumatics. Hit the ground and it, it compresses air and like 
That's how it controls. It's, it's hydraulic. Uh, I, I can't remember if it's pneumatic or hydraulic, but it's the same principle, and they are both a fluid at that temperature. Right? <clears throat> so when you hit the ground, it should arrest that energy. It disperses it through the fluid, whether it's air or water, that's inside the, the piston. Mm. And it it feels like they just copied their GA uh, th their GA gear from onto everything. Um, kind of the same way that uh, throttle control works, right? Like I was flying one of the landing challenges in the A320, and I advanced the throttle maybe two percent, got like a two and a half three percent boost out of my engines. Just because I wanted to go just a little bit further. I wanted just just to slow down my descent just a little bit. And all of a sudden, I jumped about 1,200 feet. I, my, my, my airplane, my attitude didn't change, but my altitude went up about 1,200 feet. From gaining, I think it was two knots. And that made no sense. Like, I have been flying... Even if people want to argue about how accurate X-Plane's model is, it is inarguably better modeled than this. Uh, maybe not in GA. I'm not sure there. But with airliners, absolutely. And an A320 is far too heavy to immediately jump 1,200 feet from a two-knot increase. Um, I have, I have no idea what they're thinking or what they're doing. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, because this was, this is great fun, but I don't think I have enough time to actually do another flight, um, is I'm going to have to kind of, yeah, <laughs> the flight physics in Star Fox work more reliably. Yeah, I totally agree. And look. I'm going to say the same thing I have always said, right? Microsoft Flight is a great starting point right now. It has nothing to do with it. it, it it's just a sandbox. Um, could I rewind the flight? No, there's there's no ability to... to there's, there's not even replay. So you, you can't rewind the flight. You can't... There's no replays, there's nothing. I can't do literally anything. Seriously, yeah, there's there's no replays. They're still working on that. This is why I keep saying, this is a great start, but this is a beta. They just moved from alpha to beta and called it a release. This is not a finished game. This is not a finished sim, not at all. Yeah, it does. And here's the thing, a lot of the problems with it, a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them, are caused by the fact that there are no, uh, that there are no payware airplane. I'm gonna just be flat out honest with everybody here. GA and default aircraft in every sim ever suck. There is no exceptions. There never will be exceptions. Um, when will this be done cooking? When PMDG brings their 7-3. That's when it'll be done cooking. And then we'll see what it's at at that point. And whether or not Asobo needs to continue working on the things that they have fucked up. Or whether they need to abandon them. Um, the 7-8, the 7-4, the A320. Abandon them. As a matter of fact, don't even abandon them. Give all of your development tools for those three airplanes to the teams that are currently working on them. Abandon all of your work on them and give all your tools to the freeware community that are currently trying to fix the problems with these three aircraft. Because all three of them have teams dedicated to turning them into study level aircraft. For the A320, I know it's called Fly-By-Wire. I've been involved with that community since the day it started. And I am still excited for what they're doing. The problem is every update where Asobo keeps trying valiantly to fix the A320, breaks everything they've done to it. 
Um, so, you, Asobo, this is what I'm telling you. Focus your attentions. Stop trying to put out all the fire. You can't. You're bad at it. You're smaller. You're too small to do it right. Okay? So, abandon that. Give the tools that are needed to fix these projects to the teams that are already working on it in the community. Let them fix it for you. While they're doing that, you need to focus on the core elements of this simulator. By core elements, I mean the weather is still broken. It's been months now, and the weather still does not work. I mean replays. There is no... There is no reason. FSX had it. X-Plane has it. P3D has it. Every simulator has replays. Every simulator needs replays. This is how we look. Yeah, approach direction through mountains needs to be fixed. You can't tell me to fly through the terrain and expect me to be able to land. Now, yes, that is an assist for people who are unfamiliar with the game, with, with aviation, but granted, they don't have experience with aviation. They don't have the skills to be able to even try to avoid it like I did. But that, you know, that approach was in zero visibility. Why is your ATC giving me a visual approach? That was totally an IMC approach. But they set me on a visual. Now, I will be the first to admit, I have no idea how to activate the ILS in the 787. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. So if they would have given me an ILS, I would have had no idea how to intercept. Not even a question. But, that doesn't change the fact that your ATC, which is what is helping your newbie players, is telling me to do a visual approach in IMC conditions. And then it's telling me to fly through a mountain. It can't be that hard to detect whether or not your glide path indicators are intersecting terrain. It, it can't be that hard. Um, focus on the weather. Focus on replays. Focus on your assists, even. You know what? Don't even focus on the assists, okay? Weather first. Weather first. Give the tools to fix your planes to the teams that are already trying to do so. Stop working against them. Start working with them. That's, that's where I'm at. You can't do it. Give it to people whose sole job it is to do that. And fine, tell them they can't make any money off of it. That's fine. They're already not making any money off of it. But give them the ability to model the interior. Give them the ability to mess with the autopilot. Because your autopilot is garbage. It's garbage. Scrap the whole thing. Copy and paste it out of fucking f f uh, FSX. Your FSX autopilot was a lot better than, your, than, than this version. Okay? But give those tools to the creators that are already working on that. I mean, for fuck's sake, the A320 in between the two sides of of, of the PFD, or not the PFD, um, oh fuck, the FMS, the two sides of it is supposed to have a, it's supposed to be two individual displays, one that has the speed and, uh, the speed and heading, and the other side is supposed to have the altitude and virtual, uh, and, uh, vertical speed, right? And in between them is a strip of the dashboard. Asobo, you created one display and you made that display show a blue strip down the middle. We're not stupid. We can tell the difference between a 3D piece of plastic that comes down between two separate displays and a line of blue on the display. 
we can tell the difference. We're not dumb. There's a lot of little problems that we don't have the tools to fix because you're too busy trying to put out the massive dumpster fire that you dropped on our laps, but we're trying to fix it too. Add doors, yes. Doors would be nice. Um, but look, here's the thing. Don't worry about all the things that are wrong with the aircraft. Just give the tools to the community to fix them. That's it. That's it. Let us do it. Because we're never going to be happy with what you do because you don't have the budget to throw at it to create three study level airliners. You don't have the budget. You're never going to have the budget. Sobo, you're working for Microsoft, okay? So let's be realistic here. You're never going to have the budget to make three study level airliners. Never going to happen. Learn from FSX. Learn from X-Plane. Give the tools to your community. Let them make them study level and just say, these are the defaults. They're the best they're going to get. And then move the fuck on and fix the things that you need to be fixing. And don't sell this, you know, this Japan update and, oh, this is a Japan update. And here's the thing. You have to get it out of the, the out of the, uh, the marketplace. No, it's not from the marketplace, sweetheart. It's a part of the base game. Okay, just because you put it in the marketplace doesn't mean it's an expansion. We were promised the whole world. BFR. That's what we were promised. Now, you did put it in the marketplace as free, so I'm still going to count it. But don't put it in there like you're, you're doing us a favor. Like, oh, look at us. We're so magnanimous. We're giving you free airports in, in, in Japan. Yeah, they were supposed to be there in the first place, Microsoft. We paid for them already. That's why they're free. We're well aware of this. Don't screw with us. What you need to remember is that aviation enthusiasts are very intelligent people. We have to be. We are controlling multi-ton pieces of equipment that are extremely complicated and are meant for between two and three people operating them, and we're doing it alone. We're very intelligent people, and we're very observant people. Don't treat us like we're stupid. Um, yeah, in, insert comment about development as a service. Everything is a service. No, it's not a service. We already bought it. This is you finally living up to what you already told us you were going to do. Now, I can understand if maybe you're doing fixes in a certain area, but guess what? That's not an update. That's bug fixes. Okay? Anyway... So, well, I do love what you've done. Don't get me wrong. The fact that I'm complaining about all these things does not mean that I hate the game. I love the game. And I love the fact that the game exists. Because even if I did hate the game, this is going to hopefully kick Austin in the butt and get X-Plane to stop being an, just pedantic and, and bad. Um, the thing is, X-Plane is systems complete. Granted, it's like a 10-year-old simulator. It should be systems complete. But you've been released. Once you were released, your systems should be pretty well complete. The things that you promised on the box don't exist yet. Live weather sucks. It needs to be fixed. Okay? So get on that. Start fixing your weather, fix your crash detection, fix your 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 approach detection. Um, have your ATC determine whether you're in IMC or VMC, because the meteorological conditions at that airport was not okay for a visual landing. It was not. Um, I was on top of the runway before I could see it. There is no way I should have been allowed a, ver a visual approach. Even when I turned around and came back the other direction, I still could not, I could not see the mountains when I was about to smack into them. Okay, so. Your ATC should be there to help people. If you can't manage to make the ATC help people, don't make it exist at all. 
I would rather not have... Also, the ability to turn it off. Please. Please. Like, I'm gonna look at the main menu here. We're gonna look at the main menu together. Okay? Because we're gonna try and find a way to turn that off. Um, your ATC is terrible. It is absolutely awful, and I don't want to deal with it. Um, and anybody who knows how to fly should not want to. Let's see if we can find... Where's, where's some options? Options... General, maybe? This is another thing. The way you guys break up controls... Like, all the options are broken up into these general assistance controls. Like, I understand splitting off controls, but general and assistance, assistance is a part of generals. Throw it in, into one place so that I can, I can find, just, there, you have all this space. Use it. It's that easy. All this space, use it. Uh, traffic, maybe. Uh, nope, that definitely doesn't have anything to do with... Ah. <sighs> Nothing to do with ATC. I mean, I can turn down the sound on it. I, like, I can turn down the volume. I think. Maybe. I guess not. I guess I can't. Um... See, this, this is where I get into... I, I, sh I should be able to turn this off. But there's there's nothing here. Um, current data consumption, 41 gigabytes. That's not bad. I, I, I'm actually surprised it's only used that much. I flew a lot. Um, yeah, I don't see anything about turning off ATC. I could turn down voices, but then I'm not going to hear my GPWS callouts either. Yeah, there's there's nothing here about it. You have de delegate ATC to AI, so you clearly understand that at some times, in some ways, um, ATC is in the way. Okay? You, un you clearly understand that. So why can't I shut it off entirely? I did that in FSX. I've done it in X-Plane. Why do I have to sit here and wait for them to get mad and tell me that I'm I'm being kicked off here? Um, I would pay five dollars for an add-on that allowed me to turn off AI entirely. Um. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, I, I don't see anything here. Nothing to turn it off. Yep, there's nothing here to turn it off. So, this is what I want. I want you to turn over your tools to the teams that are already trying to fix your airplane. Stop trying to work against them. I want you to fix weather. I want you to be to give me an option to turn off ATC entirely. Um, I want you to fix your 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 assistances. And fix your ATC. If you can't, if you can't fix the ATC, remove it. If it's if it's going to direct new players into the ground, remove it. It's not helping anybody. Um, you replace it with a similar system that just allows you to select airports nearby, 
and select an approach and it'll show up your glide path. That's it. Uh, so those are your number one, two, and three uh, objectives here. Anyway, thank you guys for coming by. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here because there's just not enough time for me to do another flight. And this game, it's so broken that I, I don't think I can fix I don't think that I can make a good uh, flight in it right now uh, because they just broke a bunch of the tools that I use. Uh, the airplane that I prefer to fly that I know something about is non-functional at the moment. So uh, I really can't fly anything. Um, not anything that I want to fly on stream. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to raid Buona because he is currently playing this in Japan. And he's more of a fan of GA, so he can probably get around a lot of these problems that I'm having. And he has a much different opinion of Microsoft Flight than I do. He likes it where I'm... I still don't... I, I, I think I will like it eventually once they fix it, but right now they haven't, so I don't. Uh, so I'm going to send you guys his way and let you see a totally different opinion than mine. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight, and I will see you next time. Have a fantastic evening.